An idiot exposes an asshole? Paul Bissonnette recently exposed Mike Babcock, also known as a person who bullied a grown NHL man into a nervous breakdown, for forcing his players to share private photos from their phones and exposing them to the team through airplay. Captain Boone Jenner then came out and confirmed that Bissonnette was lying, while NHL Deputy Commissioner said that he also followed up with the NHLPA and the Blue Jackets to conclude that this was a non-issue. Huh? First of all, who in the right mind believes a statement released by any team, let alone a Twitter account with public relations as their name? Like this guy actually believes this. What? The second problem is that an investigation by an NHL deputy executive is totally useless. If you are a fringe NHL player who is one turnover away from being sent to the minors, you're not going to admit anything to anyone, especially to someone in charge. Yeah, they'll promise to keep their identity anonymous, but if a fringe NHL player were to come out, you know that Babcock will find the player who made him look bad and bury him in the minors as long as Babcock works in Columbus. And that's one of the reasons why it took Kyle Beach more than 10 years to come out and say that he was sexually assaulted by his video coach in 2010. Now, I have to admit though, the text that Bissonnette provided on Twitter as his source is a bad look for Biz because the source doesn't come from any of the players that are currently playing on the Blue Jackets. And because there's history of Bissonnette not liking Babcock, he could totally just be exaggerating the whole story. But you know what? I still believe in Biz. Biz probably posted a useless photo because he didn't want to expose the fringe players on the Blue Jackets, which is why those fringe players came to Biz in the first place. Also, Biz is quadrupling down by saying that the truth will come out and he sounds very confident. He obviously reached out to multiple sources and confirmed the legitimacy on his end. Also, people think Bissonnette is just some kind of brain dead meathead, but he actually has a lot to lose. He wouldn't just blindly jeopardize his job with TNT Sports, damage the reputation of spitting chiclets, and damage the relationships with current players and coaches. The reason why he is doubling down is because he confirmed the story with multiple sources and now is confident enough to call out the bullshit of the Columbus Blue Jackets PR team. Where there is smoke, there is fire. And my Babcock is getting fired. <laughs>